Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dom, and today we are checking out a Cydia tweak called Buddy Lock. This is a pretty advanced lock screen tweak, and it will allow you to customize various aspects of the lock screen, and it also provides a bunch of additional features. So let's go ahead and check this out here and see what it's all about. I'm going to back out to the lock screen and show you how it looks by default. So once you have this pulled up here and you tap on the little lock in the middle, as you can see, we have the ability to access the camera and we have a couple apps here. And then we also do have a folder full of apps right there. And then of course you can go to the lock to unlock the device. Now this at first reminds me of Jelly Lock, but it has a bunch of other features inside of it. And I'm gonna show you all those here real quick. Let's go ahead and unlock the device and we'll go into the settings app here. As you can see, I have Buddy Lock pulled up. So at the top of the screen, we have the ability to enable or disable Buddy Lock. And right beneath that, we have our theming options. Now this will allow you to customize virtually any aspect of the lock screen right from within this tweak. For example, at the top here, we have have the ability to set the lock slider theme and of course that's that little round icon that sits at the bottom in the center of your screen so if we change it to let's say purple here and back out as you can see we have a purple square there and purple camera icon and then purple lock over there same thing with any of these other colors anything that you change it to will just make that little square that same color that you chose personally I prefer the default round style as you can see right here this one I just like how it looks it's pretty clean and then you can also set the opacity for that so if we turn that down a little bit you can see here that it is kind of transparent now and again you can set the size there's just so many options in here to choose from and also you have the margin option right here to set how low it is to the bottom of the screen so aside from that we do also have the date header theme option so if we turn that on as you can see we have a black date header and then of course you have these other colors to choose from and we'll go and back out there you can see that's hot pink now so as you can see, there's definitely no shortage of lock screen customization when it comes to Buddy Lock. You can change the date header text, the font color, the size. You can also change the camera and unlock icons there and also the app icon. So there's really a ton of functionality and features packed into this tweak. So let's go ahead and back out of there. Now we do have the option to set the lock screen apps. As you can see, we can change any of these app slots. Now they give you five by default, so I could go ahead and fill up the rest of these here real quick. And if you have a fifth app enabled, it will not show up if you have the folder option enabled. So as you can see, I have the folder right there and you can turn that on and off from this section here. So if we disable the folder, as you can see that fifth app will show up on the screen once we select it. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Select Cydia and there you go. So now you have five apps on the screen. But I personally like the folder because it allows you to put other apps inside of there. So you can have a total of eight apps on your lock screen. So as you can see here, we have the ability to specify these individual apps. Let's go ahead and set a few. Okay, we'll set iTunes there. And you have the option to make the apps curve or not. Now that's just basically a personal preference, but as you can see, that's what the curve looks like right there. And you have access to all of these apps all on your lock screen. It's pretty cool kind of hides them away I guess it's a nice little convenient feature there but that's not where the fun ends with buddy lock we also have this extra section at the bottom and you have these side views now once you have these side views set up I have the right view set as playlist and the left view set as widgets this will allow you to swipe from the side to gain access to these features so let's go ahead and test it out here I have the left side view if I swipe over I get all of these widgets here. I can go ahead and create a note. I can also post to Facebook. I can even post a tweet. You can enable or disable do not disturb, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. And then like I said, on the other side, I have my playlist options. So if I tap on that purchase playlist, it'll actually begin playing a tune from my playlist. Alternatively, you can set 
either side to either type of sidebar you want. So I can set the right view to widgets and then I can set the left view to contacts or none. And then of course if you have contacts set and you swipe over here, it'll pull up all your contacts right here from the lock screen. So that is definitely a convenient feature. Now on the widgets section, if you don't like all of the widgets that are included, you can go in here and you can disable certain widgets. I'll just turn off the flashlight and then as you can see, uh, we have no flashlight if I could pull up on the right side. There we go. We have no flashlight here. So that is another option to customize the side views. And then we also have date header actions underneath that. So this is a whole nother section of things. It's kind of like activator, but it's kind of its own self-contained activator within this buddy lock tweak. You have the ability to select certain options that are found in those widgets. So I can say if I tap on the top header bar, I can pull up a tweet sheet. Let's set this to single tap and then we'll back out and tap on the clock there. And as you can see, we pulled up this tweet sheet here and I accidentally pasted a Instagram link for some reason, but you guys get the idea. You have all of these options here, long hold, slide right, slide left, slide up and slide down. So you can use any of those to activate one of these toggles. And then of course at the bottom, it says if any option is unsupported by your device, this action will not work. And right below that, we also do have hide lock screen items. I know there is a ton of information inside of this tweak. There's a ton of features here that you can play with. And this will allow you to hide various parts of the lock screen. So we can hide the date header. And then when you go back out there, as you can see, we just have a blank lock screen here. Pretty cool. And let's go ahead and turn that off. And then right here, we have swipe away notifications. So if I get a few notifications at once here, let's go ahead and send a few make a few pop up. I can actually swipe away all of them by swiping to the left, just like that. And it'll get rid of all the notifications at once. So it's a pretty cool feature. There is a lot packed here in Buddy Lock. And I tried to go over as much of it as I could in the little time that we have here in this video. So go ahead and check it out, everybody. I think it's a very great tweak, definitely worth the money. If you're interested in it, you can grab it for 99 cents in the Big Boss repo. There really doesn't get much better than that. This is a great deal for a tweak with a ton of features in it, and I really think that it can be useful. So go ahead and check it out, and as always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.